so today we are going to see the dissection of the submandibular region so this is of right side the right side of the neck so first of all we have reflected the skin after reflection of the skin what comes is the platysma so we have released the platysma along the base of the mandible so platysma after reflection of the platysma what we have come across is this one is the external jugular vein external jugular vein this is facial vein going towards the face and here was the some tissue of the parotid gland that i have removed to expose the deeper area now in this in the submandibular region or the submandibular gland is situated in the digastric triangle how it is formed this is anterior belly of the digastric this is posterior belly of the digastric along with stylohyoid muscle so this is a stylohyoid muscle posterior belly of digastric and behind the mandible here is the hyoid bone hyoid bone okay so and beneath this anterior belly of the digastric you can see the mylohyoid muscle now this is the mylohyoid muscle over the mylohyoid muscle we can also see mylohyoid vessels and nerve to mylohyoid now this is this is the nerve to mylohyoid which was the branch of the inferior alveolar nerve we have seen it in the infratemporal fossa okay now this submandibular gland is having the superficial part and the deep part now this part is the superficial part and the deep part is present behind this mylohyoid muscle behind the mylohyoid muscle to see for that we have to dissect this or cut this uh, anterior belly of digastric and some portion of mandible has to be cut okay one more thing which we can see here is the facial artery so this is the facial artery you can see the winding around the submandibular gland so facial artery along with the facial vein one more thing which is visible here